from Orasa. First of all, my sincere apology for being late, and uh, as I don't know who was in my room, and uh, the sound is there? Yeah. Is it us? Yeah. And uh, basically, as uh, uh, most of you know, Iran is a multicultural, multilingual, multireligious, multicolored country. And basically, because of this, the constitution of Iran, the current constitution of Iran, the article 15, 19, and 20, been very clearly mentioned this. And uh, logically, some uh, ethnic activists inside Iran was asking their demand asking and demanding their rights, but unfortunately, they have not got yet. Especially the Kurdish people, which is a large number of people there, both in East of Iran and in North, uh, uh, West of Iran and North East of Iran. So what we are, we are, uh, and other, and other, uh, uh, take, uh, minority or your nationality, whatever you, what, whatever you call, we want the, the, the system, there should be a system there that consider all these colors, all these minorities right. Not just on the paper, but practically to be fulfilled on the ground. And that, this is the reason we are here. And we are asking international communities and also the Iranian rulers to consider their own people's rights. So if you consider the Kurdish people from the very north, uh, uh, Ormia to very, very south, uh, Nordistan, or the, uh, those uh, uh, provinces we have, we have got Kurdish uh, population, most, most majority Kurdish population there, they are really living in institution poverty, the privation, the privation, and just consider last, last week there was an earthquake there, and people was, uh, in, in this cold weather, there was living in, in, in uh, just, there was no shelter there, and uh, the government of Iran was not helping them properly, and all around the, around the country, They've been, they've been large traffic there to go to help their, their people, their, their own uh, nations and members there. So if the, uh, the very basic demand of the Iranian people from different cultures, different languages, if they be given to them, there is no point all this problem, all this sanction, all this poverty there to be imposed in our people there. So what, I'm, I'm, what I just mentioned about the Kurdish people, the same is with the other populations, Baluchi people, Azari people, Talishi people, Arab people, all and all and all from south to north, east to, to east to west. So that is why uh, as, a Kurdish, uh, as a Kurdish person, uh, here, I mostly uh, what we are talking about the court is not mean, not, not, does not mean for that the Talishi people are not under pressure. The same. So, in my view, the most problem of the uh, of our country when 1979 the constitution of Iran been established there, some some. Uh, people by order of the, the spiritual leader Khomeini, Khomeini been uh, uh, written there and the, the people from the minorities which is you can't say minority but roughly 65% of the population of the people of the from different uh, 
ethnics, we have no representative there to when they write in this constitution. So basically, if you ask me as a Kurdish person, as a Kurdish nation, this constitution does not uh, does not express our our right because our our yes, because our representative was not there from the political party. Uh, basically, the uh, uh, Democratic Party of Iran has been Democratic Kurdistan Iran, and the Kumala Party. They wanted to be uh, to be participated in the, uh, making this constitution. They've been harshly uh, deprived from it. So basically, <coughs> from the first, Kurdish people they say no to this, and they've been uh, they've been bombed, they've been killed. They've been execution, executed, so now we are here. My last sentence, as I've just one minute, is we, the people of Iran, inside Iran and outside Iran, we have no choice. We have to sit together and talk together and make this problem somehow solved.